So in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to do the bronze pat method. I already did a video before, but now things have come out, which makes it much, much better. So what we're going to do is go through a load of bronze packs, show you what to do with certain players and contracts, etc., and how to prepare for future SPCs. So for example, any managers or anything like that, we're going to be checking their prices. There are a few cards like this guy in particular, who sells about 300 coins. We could sell him for 250 and make our coins back. On bronze commons players in particular, I tend to sell them if they're 250. If they're lower, I don't sell them. So this guy goes to our transfer list. All of our TFOs and contracts will be sold unless there are certain ones. Now, the reason why bronze pack method is so good to do, even if it does look like you're losing coins to start off with, there are several SBCs that come out that spike the prices up. Even the new evolutions also bring prices up. So for at the moment, as you can see here, None of these are worth anything. I don't think this is either. Nope. And if we have a look here, we might get somebody's worth a little bit of coins here. So again, 250 is the price we're looking at. So it looks like this guy is going to go for 250. And basically what you're trying to do is prepare your club for other upgrades. So I'm just checking to see if there's any manager contracts there isn't. Then we have a striker here who looks like he isn't going to go for anything. We'll try listening for 200 just in case. Then we have these two players here that go into our club. Now it's important that you keep hold of all the players that don't sell and not discard them. The reason being is at this minute in time we have actually got ourselves some SBCs that we can use. So if we go over to the SBC tab we can go and start off with that. Now these are tradable packs you get back. So for example Prime Goals Players Pack. Or bronze, sorry, prime bronze players pack. We have three rares and exactly bronze. So I'm just going to go complete that now. So as you can see, these are the players that we packed. Some of the rares we didn't, but you would get them anyway. So instead of buying the cards to complete this do bronze pack method, reason why is you're going to get some managers and some other things that are worth coins. Now we can do this SBC every single day, I think, for the next couple of days until it refreshes. So you do it like five times over 18 days. Not only that, we have got ourselves icon SBCs out there. They need bronze rares as well, and that pushes the price price up so this pack here is a guaranteed 12 players now if you get yourself some of the expensive bronze players you're laughing so we can have a look here this guy doesn't go for much this guy here is a goalkeeper so you can see we're just checking to see every single price and if they don't we can save them for our future evolutions and then if we don't want to use them in evolutions we can sell them so if everybody out of this pack doesn't seem to sell for anything just yet i like to collect as many sudamericanas and libertadores as well the main reason being is when that comes out as an SBC, in terms of league SBCs, you're going to start making a lot of coins off those and not have to sell them. So this guy goes for 200. So there's the first one done. Now, once you've done a lot of bronze packs and done that SBC every single day, stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. Not only are you getting a return back on them, but you can also complete the silver one, which is also tradable as well. Now, some of these silver rare cards go for like 10k. Again, we need to have three, sil uh, three silver rares and the rest is silver. So we're just going to go do that again really quickly. Pop these three in. Try not to use players that might be decent in the future. And this is why it's so good. So a bronze pack method, we're not only just collecting things into our club, we are also getting things to add into current and future SBCs as well. And every time we get an icon SBC, silver rares, bronze rares go up. And today is Thursday, meaning we get marquee matchups. They also go up in price as well because of that, depending on what we need. And there's always one nation or someone like that who will boost the prices up massively. So when you've done 10,000 coins worth of bronze packs, you can then complete all the SBCs you've just seen on my screen. Hopefully your pack luck's a little bit better than mine and you pack something that's quite expensive. If you don't, not a problem. Still keep everything in your club. So for example, we've got ourselves a silver striker here. Looks like he goes for around 600 coins. So we could sell him for 600 this left back probably doesn't go for anything. Does the Argentinian centre back? He doesn't either. But again, in the future, they will. Then we got sales at our Liga 2 Argentinian centre 300 coins. So yeah, we can make our money back just from that alone. Then we've got ourselves a Kane here who goes for around 300, 400. So this pack alone will give us a lot of our coins back. Then we've got a Brazilian Libertadores who looks like around 500. So this pack alone would have paid for almost half of our bronze packs if we opened up 10k. Now to go back to bronze pack method, because I always get this question all the time. Like when you should do it, how you should do it. So I do a lot of how to grind. So for example, how to grind the player of the month SPCs. How to grind the icon SPCs that come out like Blanc. The hero SPCs that come out. And it all starts from this video here. I do about 10,000 coins of bronze pack method every single time. And what I'm doing here is just building my club up slowly to be able to put them into bronze upgrades or into silver upgrades. It's going to give me gold commons. 
as well as on top of that any other cards it sell for a lot so for example this pack here costs 750 coins we got ourselves around seven players here which would have been 150 each and unfortunately none of them were worth anything not even the manager but again that's still seven players and a free bronze plaque on top of that which is better value than having to buy them separately so what you are doing imagine it as an investment and in this investment you are basically getting 10,000 coins and you're investing that for a couple months time a week's time a month who knows when it's going to be but that's how you're going to flip these coins and make profit in the future now like i said there will be a few cards that go for a lot more than others there will be some that don't sell at all as a moment we are going through that list but the last time we did this we managed to pack a card that was 10,000 coins and a lot of people are still doing this now these are still player contracts i tend to sell all the tfos and discard them or even even the badges now because none of them are worth anything but if you do get manager contracts not player contracts they do actually sell at 200 coins over time but like I said, you're looking to spend 10,000 coins. Once you spent those 10,000 coins, go do the bronze upgrade. Then you should have enough to do the silver upgrade as well. And as you can see here, we are building up our MLS players. So if we do get an SPC that needs MLS, we are laughing. So for example, this guy looks like he goes for about 1,200 coins. So we can sell him to go back into our list of bronze packs. That's two bronze packs back there just from that. Nothing from this one. Nothing from this one. Does a Mexican manager sell? She doesn't either no manager contracts again and we discard everything else and again we may not be making instant coins but i promise you in the future every time we get an spc this will basically boost your coins there are times that bronze rares basically go for 500 coins 600 coins so if you keep them all you're going to have an absolute crazy amount of coins on top of that from doing nothing but essentially we are just looking for players who are in the premier league like this guy the, the liverpool player you can either sell him now or keep him for when we need a Liverpool player in marquee matchups, and you're going to make a lot of coins from that. But it looks like he goes for around 550, so I will sell him for 550. And we got 100 coin boost plus that, so we've actually made our money back on this pack alone. These other players don't sell. So again, just keep going through doing them, then you'll get your money back eventually, or you'll make instant coins from certain cards. But what we are doing for when the Monday upgrades come, because every single Monday we always get SBC upgrades like the 80 plus, to grind these, we can go put our bronzes into the bronze upgrade, get the silvers, silvers into this free gold common, then we can go do this 80 plus. Saves you about two to three hours if you were to do that throughout the week, instead of trying to do it all on Monday. That's the best way. So we'll open up our last bronze pack, and if you have any questions, Please do comment down below. If you don't understand something, let me know. But like I will say, and I will keep saying, this is not to make instant profit. This is to build your club up over time. And then you will make the profit as it comes through when we get League SBC. So for example, none of these things sell. We got ourselves a Libertadores. Right now, these are 200 coins. When we get the League SBC, SBC that comes out, then these Libertadores are going to go up in price. We've got ourselves a Championship player here. It sells for 400, so we can sell him for 550 here. Then we've already made our money back essentially because it's 100 and then we're just a little bit shy in terms of stuff like that. Keeping our Libertadores to sell in the future. And we're just building our club up. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, any questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.